This is the second video in our series of videos on biological molecules and the chemistry of life. We're going to talk about pH in this video. pH simply stands for the power of hydrogen. It's a measure of how acidic or basic a solution is. Water molecules tend to dissociate. Even though water is covalently bonded, uh, a small number of these molecules will actually dissociate uh, in the same way that ions dissociate. And you'll get some hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. As it happens, hydrogen ions make a solution more acidic and hydroxide ions make a solution more basic or alkaline. But when water dissociates, you get an equal number of hydrogen ions to hydroxide ions. And as a result, you have a perfectly neutral solution if you have pure water. So let's take a look at this. In a neutral solution, the hydrogen ions balance out the hydroxide ions. So here we're showing three hydrogen ions to three hydroxide ions. So in a neutral solution, hydrogen ions are equal to hydroxide ions. And the only case of this would be pure water. In an acidic solution, you'll notice that you have more hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions. The more hydrogen ions there are, the more acidic the solution will become. Finally, in a basic solution, you'll so see that the number of hydrogen ions relative to the number of hydroxide ions is actually quite low. We have more hydroxide ions than hydrogen ions. And this would be the case with any kind of a base, such as sodium hydroxide. So what we see from this is that if you want to make a solution more or less acidic, you need to add or subtract hydrogen ions. The pH scale shows the relative pH of various different substances. It goes from, usually it's shown as going from 0 to 14, but there are super acids that actually can go negative on the scale. Pure water is right here, it's pH 7. Anything to the left is acidic, and anything to the right is basic. And you can see a few biological substances on here. Gastric juice, which is stomach acid, is the most acidic uh, substance in our bodies. With a pH of 2, it contains hydrochloric acid. And as a result, it's very acidic. The acid is there not to digest our food. It's there to actually destroy bacteria that comes into our bodies with the food. Living things don't live very well in very low pH. It's only a very few organisms, like certain bacteria, that are adapted to be able to live in extreme pH. Most life happens near pH 7. Most of the materials our bodies make are near pH 7. So for example, you can see even urine, which is slightly acidic, and milk would be uh, very close to neutral pH. Some substances that we put into our bodies can be slightly acidic. Vinegar in small quantities, tomato juice, any of the citrus fruits, uh, beer, alcohol are all going to be slightly acidic. Uh, some of the foods that we eat, like bananas, might be toward this side of the scale, but they're all pretty close to pH 7. Or are they? When we talk about the pH scale and we talk the number, about the numbers on the pH scale, it actually seems like uh, when you go from one number to the next, it's not a giant leap. But in fact, the pH scale is logarithmic. And what that means is that for each change of one on the pH scale, the actual number of hydrogen ions changes by a factor of 10. So for example, if we start at pH 4 and we go to pH 3, we actually have 10 times more hydrogen ions than we did at pH 4. If we then go from pH 3 to pH 2, that also means we have 10 times more hydrogen ions than we did at pH 3. From pH 4 to pH 2 is actually a change of 100 times the number of hydrogen ions. So you can see that for each step on the pH scale, the amount of change of hydrogen ions is actually quite significant. So uh, while it might seem like a change from pH 7 to pH 6 or 5 is not that significant, it's actually quite huge. And for organisms that end up living in um, lakes that have pH that's been changed uh, due to acid rain, this is way too low of a pH for them to survive. 
in our own bodies, almost all of our bodily fluids are very close to seven. Most notable is blood. With blood, uh, the normal pH range is about 7.2 to 7.4. I think it can go as low as something like 6.8 and then after that death occurs and it can go a little bit higher than 7.4 as well. But this is sort of the healthy normal range and it does fluctuate. Um, when we take a breath, uh, we actually bring in oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide. But between breaths, carbon dioxide begins to build up in our blood. And when the carbon dioxide reacts with the water in our blood, we actually form carbonic acid. And that carbonic acid actually makes our blood a little bit more acidic. And that accounts for why our blood fluctuates down to 7.2. Now, in fact, it would go a lot lower than that if it was not for natural buffers in our blood. So let's take a look at buffers. Buffers are solutions that resist quick changes in pH when acids and bases are added to them. Every living cell contains natural buffer systems to maintain the constant pH needed for proper cell function. If an environment becomes more acidic, buffers accept hydrogen ions from a solution. The result is that the solution becomes only slightly more acidic, not as acidic as it would have if the buffer wasn't there. In basic environments, buffers donate hydrogen ions to the solution, and the result is that the solution becomes only slightly more basic. If the buffer was absent, the solution would become a lot more basic. Thus, buffers prevent excessive swings in pH and help maintain homeostasis or equilibrium in living things. Let's do a reality check. On the pH scale, the higher the number, the more hydrogen ions are present. This is false. On the pH scale, the higher the number, the less hydrogen ions are present relative to the number of hydroxide ions. A solution of pH 4 is 100 times more acidic than a solution of pH 6. This is true. The pH scale is logarithmic, so each increment or decline of, by a factor of 1 is actually a change in the pH by 100 times. In other words, there's 100 times more or less hydrogen present. Buffers cause rapid changes in pH. False. They do the reverse. They cause slow changes in pH. Most chemical reactions in living things are pH dependent. This is true. Every living cell contains natural buffer systems. Also true. Constant pH is needed for cells to function properly. True. That concludes the video on pH.